Hello dear students, welcome to chemistry class. In this class, we are discussing one named reaction that is Elbs per sulphate oxidation. Elbs per sulphate oxidation. And this involves the conversion of monohydric phenols into dihydric phenols by treating phenol with potassium per sulphate that is K2S2O8 in alkaline medium. This Elbs per sulphate oxidation reaction involves the conversion of monohydric phenols that is the phenols which are containing only one OH group and into dihydric phenols means containing two OH groups by treating the phenol with potassium per sulphate in alkaline medium. And here for this I am explaining by taking OH it is a phenol it is a monohydric phenol because it is containing only one OH group then when it is treated with potassium per sulphate that is K2 S2 O8 in alkaline medium alkaline medium means here I am using NaOH any medium which is containing OH group or which can release OH minus that is hydroxyl groups and here we will get OH OH this is a quinol and this one is a dihydric phenol because it is containing two OH groups and this conversion from phenol to quinol by using potassium per sulphate and NaOH is called Elbs per sulphate oxidation. This involves the treatment of phenol or any phenols containing only one OH group with potassium per sulphate in presence of alkaline medium like NaOH, KOH we will get a dihydric phenols ok. And coming to the reaction mechanism, coming to the reaction mechanism we know that this NaOH is there as Na plus and OH minus then when it is treated with phenol. this one is a phenol. Huh? When it is treated with phenol, this OH group will abstract this proton, then this bond will shift towards the oxygen and here it will produce O minus. Here it will produce O minus. This is called a pinoxide ion, pinoxide ion and when we treated this one with a potassium per sulphate and the potassium per sulphate we can write K O S double bond O double bond O. Here I am writing the open structure formula for potassium per sulphate. This is the structural formula for potassium per sulphate K 2 S 2 O 8 correct and this one only I am writing here O. SO3 K O SO3 K and here O SO3 K correct yes then this negatively charged oxygen will start delocalization of this negative charge into the benzene ring then this bond will migrate here and this pi bond will move towards the oxygen then as soon as this oxygen is forming a new bond with the carbon atom of a benzene ring it will break this bond. Then here the loss of KSO4 minus takes place which leads to the formation of double bond O H because here already one H is there O SO3 K O SO3 K. Then now here back bonding takes place this bond will migrate towards the benzene ring and this bond will migrate here and the oxygen will carry negative charge O minus double bond double bond O S O 3 K ok. Then this on acid catalyzed hydrolysis 
this on acid catalyzed hydrolysis we will get a OH OH this is a quinol then this one will get converted into KHSO3 sorry KHSO4 sorry KHSO4 this is a potassium bisulfate potassium bisulfate this is the reaction mechanism of this Elbs per sulfate oxidation see here one more time I am explaining this one this NaOH is there in its solution form or in its solution as Na plus and OH minus and this OH will drag the proton from the phenol we know that this phenolic hydrogen is more acidic as compared to the alcohol so therefore it will easily go with the OH minus and this oxygen will get negative charge and this is a phenoxide ion then now this negative charge on the oxygen will start delocalizing into the benzene ring and that will attack on the oxygen atom of the potassium per sulfate which results in the loss of KSO4 minus ion and forms this intermediate. And this intermediate then on back bonding will forms once again the unstable negative charge on the oxygen. This on acid catalyzed hydrolysis will forms our final product that is a quinol ok. Then like this we can take another example OH CHO OH CHO and its name is salicylaldehyde its name is a salicylaldehyde this on treating with K2S2O8 in alkaline medium like NaOH and on acid catalyzed hydrolysis. This is salicylaldehyde on treating with potassium per sulphate and NaOH and acid hydrolysis we will get OH CHO OH and here the addition of OH is taking place in the para position and its name is 2 comma 5 this is the main functional group CHO and with respect to this carbon this is a second carbon 3 4 5 2 comma 5 dihydroxy benzaldehyde dihydroxy benzaldehyde this is the product and this one is called what Elbs per sulphate oxidation reaction ok. And here one point we have to remember that the addition of OH group that is the hydroxylation is taking place only at a para position only at a para position with respect to this one and if the para position is blocked then the hydroxylation will takes place at the ortho position. Usually the hydroxylation will takes place at a para position see here also the OH is adding at the para carbon with respect to this one then here in this example also this one is a para carbon and the addition of OH new OH is taking place here only see here. Then if this para position is blocked or the para carbon is blocked by any other substituent then only the addition will take place at a ortho carbon. This is all about what Elbs per sulphate oxidation. Thank you.